I'm Adam Calloway here in the Cattle Chat Corner at NCBA. I'm with Sarah Bonenkamp. And tell me a little bit about who you're with and introduce your uh, little side uh, kick here. Excellent. Well, my name is Sarah Bonenkamp and I'm with the American National Cattle Women. I'm their executive di uh, director, and that means that I get to represent cattle women across the country for a living. And this is my beautiful daughter, Brighton. She's going to be eight months next week. You know, it's nice to see the youth here at NCBA all the way down to Brighton's age. Tell me why is it so important for uh, the industry, the agriculture industry, to tell its story and educate the youth? I think it's important because today's kids are so far removed from where their food comes from. You know, you ask them where their food comes from and they say, the grocery store. And so we need to let them know exactly what it takes to get that steak on their plate and to help them understand that we need them to be a part of agriculture. You know. Our producers are getting old, and they're going to age out, and we're going to need people that are, are ready to, to take the reins. And so that's why it's important. Get them excited. Tell them what we want them. Get some bright new minds. Uh, one of the things here at NCBA is the opportunity to mix with other groups. And um, so tell me a little bit about the opportunity to um, network with some of those other groups and, and how that impacts your organization. I think that that's one of the most important benefits of this event because you're, you're rubbing shoulders with people from across the country. And so you're able to make connections that are going to last a lifetime. And you know it takes synergy to make an organization be successful. And so when we can find opportunities to partner, um, you never know what the result is going to be. And so there's always something new that can be done and we want to find those people and make it happen. And you know, I'm here, we've got our National Beef Ambassadors and they're the youth of our organization and they're here telling the story, they're making connections that, who knows, it might land them a job in the future and so there's just so much great uh, relationship building that happens here and it's, it's just the best place to do it. Are there any uh, tips, uh, bits of information that you picked up on this first day that you go well we're going to use that? Gosh I mean every time I meet with a cattle woman they have such amazing ideas about you know what we can do to make our organization stronger and how we can connect with the the beef story to those consumers and you know, I had a chance to go on the the Tampa news their daytime show and you know just having conversations and and letting people know that we care and that you know we're delivering an amazing product I mean I love that and those questions that we get you know it's I'm gonna put that in my back pocket and say that's that's one I need to remember because I'm gonna hear that one again and so you know just everything that we do the people the the questions the places that we see it's, it's all gonna be a value so Sarah, say that you get an opportunity to say one thing the entire general public, I mean the entire world, you get an opportunity to give them one piece of information, what would you say to them? I would say that you can feel good about eating beef. You can feel good about the way that American agriculture works because at the end of the day it's about something that tastes delicious and that's safe and wholesome. Well Sarah, thank you so much. Brighton, do you have anything you want to add to this? <laughs> Sarah. Sarah Brighton, thank you so much for coming on Cattle Chat Corner.